Hello and welcome. You're watching Indy TV, and we are on YouTube now. Every day on Good Morning India, I ask you. In fact, I give you five options and five stories to choose from, and the ones you have voted for the most is what we discuss here on YouTube in our top story segment. So let's go see what the poll today is looking like. Well, the maximum votes today have gone to the twists and turns and power games in Maharashtra. Forty-five percent there. Post that, there is the lawmakers to discuss air crisis in, at 18%. That's also an important issue along with Kerala, what's happening with the states and also the standoff on campuses from JNU to Hong Kong happening across the world. Okay, so let's talk about Maharashtra a bit. Interestingly, Maharashtra is a story that's trending online or NDTV.com as well. Both are top stories here coming in from Maharashtra. What the Shiv Sena is saying and also what the NCP is saying. But why is it that we're talking about it? all over again today because yesterday two very important things happened when Sharad Pawar reached parliament for the first day of intercession he reached there and everybody over there obviously wanted to understand what his view on government formation is how will it pan out in Maharashtra and guess what Sharad Pawar said he said well BJP and Shiv Sena fought elections together Congress and NCP fought elections together for government formations why don't you go ask the Shiv Sena and then there was a question by a reporter over there. He said that the Shiv Sena is saying they will form government with you, to which Mr. Pavar raised his eyebrows and said, Acha, sounding really surprised. That got everybody really buzzing on what exactly is happening. Is all not well between the Sena, Congress and NCP alliance? Well, post that, there was a meeting that happened later in the evening between Sharad Pawar and Sonia Gandhi. And post that meeting as well, again, there was a press conference. And Sharad Pawar was asked again, what now? Have you discussed government formation with Sena? He said, well, we talked about all pressing issues, but not government formation. So is this really something good that is happening? Or is there more to it that meets the eye really at this point? Well, this is supposed to be, at the moment, a massive U-turn. Remember, not very long ago, just about two, three days back, we had Sharad Pawar sit along with his other alliance partners, Ahmad Patel, etc., in Mumbai and in a press conference say that it will be a Sena-led government and that they will work towards it. So why exactly a U-turn? Why is it that now he's come to the capital, he's singing a different tune? Well, only Sharad Pawar knows his mind, frankly, at this point. But that's really got everybody buzzing and wondering if the Maha confusion over government formation in Maharashtra is going to continue. So that's how it actually started. But let me show you what happened this morning. This morning, while we were doing a program in the middle of it, randomly we got to know that there is going to be a press briefing by Sanjay Raut of the Shiv Sena. Now, Keeping in backdrop and keeping in the background of what happened yesterday, we were wondering if this is going to be another revelation. What happens to Shiv Sena? Now, let me show you quickly what Sanjay Raut said and let me quote from there. That man on your screen, Sanjay Raut, has been a troubleshooter for Shiv Sena. She's, he's one person who talks about everything in the party while everybody else stays shut. He addressed a press conference early in the morning, right about 9.30 or so, and said, well, everything is fine. He also said that Shiv Sena is going to form government and that Sharad Pawar is saying a lot of things, but we are aligned on several issues. Also, that there will be a Sena-led government. Those were his words with over 100 or 102 uh, MLAs that he said will form that government. Not giving direct answers to Sharad Pawar. He was obviously asked a couple of times that what happens now? Sharad Pawar is saying there's no government. What are you going to say? Well, he did not give any committed answers to that, but stayed with his party line and what has been his stated line, at least, that there will be a Sena-led government. Now, all of this has sent the all our journalists in a bit of a tizzy, not knowing which way it is really going. The sad part in all of this is that people in Maharashtra who voted for a coalition, voted for a stable government are still without a government. There is president's rule now and it will be there for the next six months. But uh, at the moment, politicians are constantly playing Game of Thrones and we don't know which way it will go. If you talk about the Shiv Sena perspective in this, that's interesting to watch out. Shiv Sena has already parted ways from the BJP. They frankly at this point 
as political pundits would say don't have an option but to go with the ncp and congress that gives mr pawar a lot of room and power and edge to maneuver over seats over power sharing over portfolios and it it is believed at this point that it's those details those minute political and power details that are being worked out and this could just be a power tactic or what now many are calling a pawar tactic so that's uh, what's happening in maharashtra really but let's go on to the other story that all of you have voted for and that is the lawmakers to discuss the air crisis now for the past two days you can see behind me as well it's bright sunshine right now early in the morning it's been good skies it's been clear weather not very good according to who standards we are still quite poor but at least we've come to the moderate category we're not in poor very poor or the severe we were in severe category for 5 days at a stretch that got everybody worried there was odd even in places as well in fact yesterday i've been keshav wala address a press conference that now that weather has cleared up there is no need to extend odd even but the major criticism in all of this had been that our mps our elected representatives who are supposed to be the voice of you and i in parliament and formulate laws for not doing anything about the air emergency many of them not even interested to understand the problem there were two instances that happened that really triggered a lot of emotions the one that thing that happened was the parliamentary affairs meeting on air pollution where there were 29 mps who were supposed to attend 24 were absent one of them was gautam kambhir who's an mp from delhi he was then uh, seen having enjoying jalebis and having a gala time during the indoor test where he's a commentator there was a lot of criticism that he's absent from the meeting but enjoying the cricket commentary instead well he came out in parliament yesterday he was present for the parliament session he made it a point to do that but he came in and said that if not having jalebis is going to solve the problem i'm going to do it any which way that was num one the other thing that happened was that there was no sort of a acknowledgement or urgency seen from the political class when it came to the issue of air pollution something that we've seen on the street something that's impacting lives short term long term it's been discussed and it's pretty clear now how deadly and how lethal pm 2.5 is to our health that issue was also raised by parliamentarians in on the first day of intercession but not too much use there was ruckus there were protests there were placards the environment minister came in an electric vehicle did a little bit of a photo op there but that was all there was no concrete action on the ground today finally congress mp manish tiwari has floated a discussion point and at 2 pm today is when that discussion is going to happen the details we know at this point is that it will be a 3 hour discussion and at the end of the discussion at 5 pm is when we expect the environment minister to make a statement as well now all this is happening in lok sabha mind you will that happen will there be a constructive debate that all of us have been hoping to hear from our politicians will something concrete really come out of it that's something we'll keep our eyes on and you can catch all those details as the day progresses we'll be bringing you all the details on ndtv our channel ndtv.com our website and now on youtube as well for the moment goodbye